So. Shelnov, thank you much for the raid. Four start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On and auto. Adairs. Ladies and gentlemen, we now ask for your attention while we take you through the Nuff. safety procedures on the Fuel sector. quantity. Five thousand eight hundred and eighty kilograms. Take off data. Confirmed. And brace position that you must set. If you hear Barrel rest. Brace. One uh, nine eight five set. There are two emergency exits. Zero, nine, eight, six, set, and down to the line. The More set, break. Below the line. Be Windows and doors. Be Closed. An Closed. Beacon. On, on. Thrust levers. Your seat belt is fastened. Idle. Adjusted. Parking brake. Is on. It must be set. Before start on. checklist complete. Do not it in Starting time. engine two. When outside, inflate by pulling the toggle. If it fails to inflate... Starting engine one. So I hope that Rosnia Jumbo Jack takes a few more seconds. <coughs> All right, both are available. So let's see after start flows. Um, we are going to extend the flaps right now because otherwise um, we would wait for the extension of the flaps, but now it's fine. And uh, St. Petersburg uh, Aeroflot 045 is taxiing to runway 28 right at St. Petersburg. So we've got that. Clear left side. Clear right side. Okay, after start checklist. Anti-ice. Oh, let's put the engine anti-ice on. E-camp status. Checked. Pitch trim. 30% set. Zero. Rudder trim. After start checklist complete. Right. Brake check. Pressure zero. Thank you. <coughs> temperatures, hang on, what's the temperatures? It's 28 degrees, yeah. It'll cool down shortly. It is a bit warm, I agree, it is. Flight control check. Full up. Full down, neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Hey, Ralph, how are you doing? Before take of checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Check. Flight instruments. Checked. Check. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap setting. Config one plus F. Config one plus F. V one. V R. V two. Flex temp. One four four. One five three. One five four. Flex temp sixty five. Flex temp sixty five. V1, 1, 4, 4, VR, 1, 5, 3, V2, 1, 5, 4, Toga, ATC. Set. ECAM memo. Take off, no blue. Down to the line. So, as uh, we have said, departure route according to the FMS, climbing uh, 7 0, transition 3,500. In case engine failure straight out 25 miles, acceleration is in eight, uh, 1,600 feet. 
and RTO we have in a stop march and so we'll abort uh, the takeoff for engine failure aircraft not controllable ATC call and all the ECAM warnings cautions coming through the inhibition phase um, regarding our de-icing um, we have uh, plenty of uh, holdover time remaining so no issues there at all and uh, so that's all fine conditions unchanged so here's two six right let's stop here real quickly approach path clear of traffic thank you st petersburg traffic uh the aeroflot 045 entering to it right take off be seated for takeoff Below the line. Take off runway. Confirmed. Confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. T A R A. Engine mode selector. Normal. Pax. Off. Before takeoff checklist complete. My FO. Uh, okay. That's made. Hey Bruno, cockpit door is unlocked. Oh, what a lineup. How could that happen? Lovely, look at that 747 from Rosnia. Lovely. So let's. Wow, that's really sensitive here. Okay, so. All closed. So we're going to start. Restart the stopwatch. <coughs> Ready? Affirm. Take off. Oh, hang on. So let's say we've got plus one degree. So let's do some ice shedding procedure. So full brakes, 70%. About 30 seconds, looking at instruments, all looking normal. <laughs> MCK, sorry. Yeah, I was just, that was just by chance. Manflex 65, SRS runway auto thrust blue. Thrust set. Oh, what's going on with the rudder here? My god. One hundred knots. Checked. Beat one. Rotate. There we go. Positive climb. Gear up. Autopilot one. Check. Thrust climb, climb blue. Auto thrust. Check. Packs are on. Flap zero. Speed check. <coughs> so make sure in Flap these conditions zero. to check the icing pin, guys. Make sure so that you don't have uh, wing icing because the temperature, well, plus seven degrees shouldn't really ice at the moment. After takeoff, climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Below the line. 
Barrel rest. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. Yes, so so the uh, the light that MCK is referring to is this one here. It's the ice indicator standby compass light. So it does two things. It switches off the lights here. So let's see if you can actually see the change there. You see the, the light there? So that works. And also, the light on the compass goes on. So that is modeled correctly. You see this? That's what this switch does. Eyes indicator standby compass light. While we're in the climb, let me quickly um, go over the QV setting procedure. So we're flying to Moscow. Anyways, uh, so I've got a, a, a workshop file out for all the subscribers in the subscribe channel. It's a QV, QNH, Altimeter Settings. It explains, for example, what does QV stand for? What QNH stands, <laughs> what QNH stands for? Um, so the simplest explanation is if you set QV value and you land, the altimeter will show zero. All right, so QV um, matches the altimeter so that it reads zero when you touch down. <laughs> um, the QNH value obviously shows you then at touchdown the height of, or the altitude above the sea level reference. So um, on your approach chart somewhere normally, I'm not saying it's here today, let me check the RLS chart in um, in Moscow. Uh, I know that it has on a leader chart. On the leader charts, it has the difference between the um, the QNH and QFE value. So, for example, um, it would be round about. Let's see. It's got elevation. Of, b -b -b -b. There we are. Six thirty. So if we take 630, and let's divide that by 27, it should be a, no, not, hang on, 630 divided by 27, should be around 23 um, hectopascal difference between the QH and QV. So on the ATIS, let's see if we get an ATIS right now. Let's see if they have a hack. They should have QFE stated on there. So let's go arrival ATIS. There we are. They actually have an ATIS. Fantastic. Hats off to Shimitivo ATC. It's an old cold from the Moors days. There we go. That's a good answer. So transition level 6 0, uh, 220 degrees, 6 meters per second. How do we get to knots? Quite simply, take the 6 meters per second, double that, and you have approximately the value in knots. So 220 degrees, 12 knots. Temperature 12, dew point 8. Q of E. Oh, okay, so 997. Q H 999. Okay, disregard. So I would think I would think the Q of E value is 977, while the Q H is 999. Let's make sure what the meta says, that we don't get this wrong. So the Q&H is 997 and the QFE is 977. So that's about, well, it says 999 here. So it's about 22. So the difference is about 22 hectopascals, <laughs> 999. So 22 hectopascals, difference between QFE and Q&H. All right. So later on since we cannot set well we we could theoretically set q f e but we don't do that all right so we actually set um q and h in the airbus however um there is a way to kind of cross check meter values in the real aircraft we either have a third altimeter um which we can set to meters um, if we press, for example, the metric altimeter button there on our newer aircraft, we actually get the meter value in here. 
while on the older models you get the out select the meters there on the uh, on the ecam so selected is 10667 meters level 350 all right what what i would suggest is taking the standby altimeter and set that to the qfe value so 977 that way later on it would it would show zero wouldn't it however the question is is it really helpful well today actually on these on these charts here we have the qfe feed value so it actually would help if we set the qfe later on on the standby altimeter um so on your charts you can actually cross-reference your QNH value. That's that's the value we're going to dial in into the autopilot later on. So 4,600 feet if we get cleared to 1,200 meters QFE. So below the transition level, we'll get QFE meters. <clears throat> so hopefully when the ATC is still online um, in, um, in Moscow, we'll get actually later on cleared below level uh, the transition level and then we have qfe meters which is going to be so cool that way 900 meters 600 meters and our intercept on the ILS is actually shown as 2560 so 2600 that will be cleared 600 meters by atc all right we could cross check whether or not we've set the right qnh setting um, by looking at the difference there so the standby will show 2,000 roundabout and the normal altimeter um, on the primary flight display will show 2,600, all right? <clears throat> it's not that complicated. It's, it always sounds complicated, but it's really not once you've done that. Don't get, uh, get confused too much with that. So just be aware that for us, flying to our procedures, we are referencing everything the same way to the minimum, for example. All right, so our published minimum will still be let's say we have two and a half climb gradient it still be 810 feet hey buddy which is reference to q and h all right it's 214 above the ground and the elevation is 630 so it's all around 840 meters or 40 feet <clears throat> unless we have the threshold is a bit lower so the threshold let's take the threshold 590 590 and um add the uh 214 it'll give us about the minimum 803 feet altimeter reading <clears throat> it's okay nicola as long as you you don't mix mix up <clears throat> your settings regarding you know your primary flight display and the the uh the, the autopilot it's all good um i'm just saying that if you are a little bit worried whether or not you have the right qnh setting it's a good idea to have a reference and we'll do that so that way i can i can show you that later on in the approach um that we have the right translation from qfe to qnh <clears throat> thank you um john very good evening thank you look at that another year thank you so much for one year of support and i congratulate john on his promotion to captain thank you so much Yeah, we've got a lot of wind, MCK. We just had some shifting winds. That's why the climb performance kind of degraded a bit. But right now, it's still okay. It's not bad. So we got 133 knots from the right. Thanks. Quite incredible. Flight time isn't so long today, guys. We've only got like, hmm, let's say 40, well, let's say 40, 45 minutes of it, uh, left, depending on on how we get radar vectors later on. So not that much. let's look at the qfe setting procedure again um so I've, I've written the text in here for example uh in russian airspace at or above transition altitude height level the same flight level uh, system is used uh below transition altitude height level the procedure depends on whether or not you can actually set the qfe values in the flight control unit aircraft that do not have qfe settings available for the altimeters a conversion of the reported qfe value into the corresponding qnh value has to be made so we have to kind of Look at the difference of QNH to QV and then add that ourselves. <clears throat> so 
let's say today we've got 22, not 23, but 22 hectopascals difference between QV and QNH. If we have 977, right, report was 977, we would add 22 and derive our QNH that way. But we are lucky today the airport actually does report QNH values. And the QNH value was 999. 999. <laughs> right. Um, runway wise, uh, we don't have many issues today. 24 right, um, 3,200 meter runway. And um, so looking at the infos for Shemitievo, I actually have those. So 24 right, Echo 3 is 1,300 meters and Echo 2 is 1,860 meters. So we go with Echo 2, and that would mean orbit low, unless it's snowing or something. Yeah, 27.5. So we have to actually use that very quickly here. 27.5. <coughs> All right, um, let me prepare already. Yeah, amazing immersion. Just like in real life, I'm saying. That's that's just brilliant. So, so cool. Moscow, uh, very good afternoon. Aeroflot 045, maintain level 350. Aeroflot 045, Moscow control, good evening. Set squawk 2716. 2716 on the squawk. Aeroflot 045, thank you. Yes, they are. So in Russia, they they would speak uh, just like in France or, or Spain. We'll expect November Mike November to Bravo arrival at the uh, two four center Yankee LS, and I call you when I'm ready for descent. Airflot zero four five. So we'll change that immediately. So it's not two four right, it's actually two four center Yankee. There we are, two four center Yankee. Zero four five, uh, correction, with zero the five. Mike November no, November Mike November two Bravo arrival. And approach via Balra. Insert. Let's have a look. Wonderful. Airfoot 045, go ahead. Airfoot 045, expect Dallas Yankee, runway 24 center via November Mike November 2, Bravo arrival. Report when ready for descent. Okay, I thought I already read back, but uh, so Airfoot 045, when ready, descent, uh, sorry, a colleague went ready for descent, and we're expecting the ILS Yankee 24 center, and the arrival is the November Mike November 2, Bravo. Right, so yeah, maybe my, my button wasn't uh, correctly set there, but I did read that. Uh, so, let's look at the arrival routing. So, first of all, the two Bravo at 250 knots here and level 150 or below. Right, so that's what we check first of all. So that's not inserted right now. Um, so I'm going to go with 150 or below. And also, we need speed constraint 250. 
Oh, disregard. Disregard. That's the wrong one. Erase. So I wanted this one here, Namin. So 250 also at the waypoint speed contract. Right, insert. So that's inserted. Uh, from there, we go Leador, then Echo Echo 064. There we've got 250, 130 below. Checked. Then 065. Then we go Sierra Whiskey Beacon. This one here, then we go 404. And oh, yeah, Sierra Whiskey, we have to have 230 knots and 90 or below. That's all correct. So we're doing that right now. <coughs> then Balra. Finish port fix. Wonderful. All right, and from there we'll do the transition onto the ILS, most probably. And we said we're going to expect the ILS two four. I see two seven six identified. Expect oh. there is Yankee runway two four center by November Mike November to Charlie to Charlie. I will report ready for the same. So Yankee, there we are. Yankee two four center. Expecting ILS oh, no, that's two four left. Two four this center. Uh, correction, Yankee ILS there we are. two four Yankee center. Yankee two four center. So Balra, then Echo Echo 259, Taluk, Echo Echo 310, then 252, that's all correct. Aeroflot 045, request descent. Aeroflot 045, descent to flight level uh, 110. Descent level 110, Aeroflot uh, two, uh, 045. <coughs> so we've got descent out blue 110. So 252, that's our final descent point. We've got uh, 2,270 feet, down 3 degrees, all correct. Uh, well, 2.98, but 3 degrees fine. Then we've got the outer market check at 1327. And the minimum is for us today, cut 1, 830. So 830. And again, we are referencing everything to Q&H, all right? 8.30 and I shall enter the data. Hey, Lilo. So we've got new info kilo. Um, we've got 230 at 16. 230 at 16. So 8 MPS. 16 knots. Uh, temperature 12. And the QNH is uh, 997 now. 997, that puts QV at 975. So I'm going to put this actually at 997 now. Put that back to QNH. Alrighty. 830. Ratnav, let me set um, Mike Romeo. So that's going to be 1416. Wonderful. And the beacon for the arrival, which is Sierra Whiskey. I'm going to put Sierra Whiskey on the right hand side there. That's 29, uh, 1285. So that's set. And then for the approach itself. Locator outer marker is Alpha Delta, so I'm going to put Alpha Delta in here as well. Left side. 700, check. Right. Um, new ATIS. Yeah, 997. I think I have that MCK. Let me just check. I think that's what I just called up. 
Uh, so I've got the info voice Lima. Okay, thank you, MCK. So Lima, uh, light rain, twelve and a QF, QNH is nine nine seven, QFE nine seven five. So I have that nine seven five and Ori for the uh, QNH is all correct. Set that. Right. So we're doing flaps full landing. We've got the transition at uh, what does it say? Level six zero. So I'm changing that as well. Welcome aboard the Captain Blackbird. Simon Clarsen, thank you much for eight months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Are you ready for the approach brief? Ready. So 320, technically no issues. Um, we have 3.5 tons in the tanks. Um, 3.0 EFOP, that leaves us a bit of extra, about 20 minutes. Um, we've got enough runways, weather is okay, um, so diversion unlikely, meaning in a missed approach case, I would return and do another approach into Shemetieva. Down to 250, what's here, The approach we've briefed already, uh, all that's missing now is the missed approach procedure. Uh, that takes us straight ahead to 1,020 feet um, or above, then turn right to Echo Echo 5 to 8, then uh, with max 230, um, turn right 083, then proceed 301, um, 075, 702, Sierra Whiskey Beacon, max to 40 speed, and then to Echo. Echo 708 and then right Balra. So literally we're doing a missed approach to, to get us back to Balra. Uh, we can check that here on the FMS. So there we go, 528083, 301, 705, 302, Sierra Whiskey, Balra, with all the speeds. So we can fly this in NAF mode, no problem at all. Uh, right, so anything else? Um, approach. Oh yeah, landing distance now for the... Uh, 24 center. So, uh, 0313. No, 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 all good, all good. 0313. Don't panic. Uh, so there we are. So that, that will go pack Terminal Bravo. So that's going to be three left off. Uh, so automatic low is perfect for us. So we'll take low. So transition, 6,000. Final approach fixed altitude. Hey, Reynolds, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, one, three, one, three, three, zero. Minimums is uh, eight, three, zero. Uh, Reynolds, if you haven't followed it yet, we're landing in Shemetievo, Arabic low, idle reverse, uh, which is really cool. Yeah, and we're using QFE setting, hopefully, at, at least that's what I'm expecting. So I've talked about how we use QFE settings, QNH is right, is right now, um, 997. So that's so the older one. So 997 and QFE is 975. And I've put the QFE in here as a reference so that we can read off the the height above the ground in feet. And uh, we're going to set the QNH in here, as always, because we have a chart that gives us QNH values and also the QFE values. Which is very cool indeed. So let's make sure we are not busting any altitudes. Uh, 150 or below at Namin with speeds 250 maximum. But that's looks, that looks fine. Right, so. Set engine anti is on. Any questions? I'm good. Fantastic. This is so cool. This is so cool hearing the Russian in the background. It's just like in real life. So fantastic. Loving it. I love the immersion right now.
absolutely incredible. Oh, he's a jumbo jet behind me. Aeroflot 045 indicated speed 250 knots indicated. Hey, Heli pilot. Dr. Barbara, Spasiba, Aeroflot 045. Um, then you would put that in. All right, Dag Balra, very nice, a nice shortcut again. So Balra now, uh, six thousand below, um, two ten on the speed. <laughs> Ridley, well put. <laughs> Viper, good afternoon. I like it. I, I think it's working great. No issues for me. We'll descend 70 and contact 118.1. Spasiba, that's what I'm here. Airflot 045. Chemetiabor approach. Uh, good afternoon, Aeroflot 045 for passing 85, descending 70. We have information, uh, Lima. Aeroflot 045, Chemetiabor, good evening, sir. Descent, uh, level Descend level 60. Descend level 60, Aeroflot 045. Right, so 60. Set engine anti ice off. Guys, I have tweaked my P3D again, and uh, the blurries, at least for now, the blurries are gone, and it's running nice and smooth again, so fairly happy with that. So we're going to have to review speed 210, approaching Balra. I'm going to set on the ILS. Now LS keys are on. And the identify... All right, so we're going to outstar, and uh, deceleration point coming up here, so we'll see the you see, performance page has just changed to active, so the center uh, phase is activated. Uh, Airflot 045 descending uh, 500 meters on QFE and the Canadian 997 kit for the ILS uh, 24 cent uh, Yankee Airflot 045. Right, so what we do now, guys, is I'm going to set the altimeter first of all. So 997. I'm going to put a thrust idle up descent and then we're going to have a look at 500 meters QFE. Um, let's see, do we have that on the chart? Yeah, so we actually do have that on the chart. I was worried that we don't have that, but we have 500 meters. But I'm going to put 2,300 in my FCU. So 2,300 on the on the uh, standby altimeter. I'm putting QFE, so I have a reference, and so my standby altimeter should show 1,650 uh, feet while my PFD altimeter should show 2300. So we have a little bit of a uh, confirmation there. 997 set. Zero, nine, nine, six, 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 minimum. 830 feet set. 830 feet set. Engine mode selected. Normal. Approach checklist complete. Thank you. So, 
right. So via, via the arrival routing, we are cleared for the ERLS. RLS is identified. India Alpha Delta, that is checked. Inbound course 244 is also checked. So this is so cool that we actually get a clearance, right? So we got clearance 500 meters QFE. However, we don't have a QFE setting in here. So we have to translate that from the chart. So we're going to fly 2,300 feet. So round up to next 100 feet because we can't put in 2,270. So that's why I put 2,300. And so how do we know that we actually have 500 meters QFE? Because we've got QFE in here. All right, and that 500 meters QFE will relate to 1,650 feet. Radio altimeter alive. Thank you. Uh, airport to the right there. Flaps one. Right. So, let's have a look. We're, we're settling at 2,500 feet, and there we've got 1,650 coming up. So we kind of have confirmation that that is correct QFE and the right Q QNH translation. And also we can look at our radio altimeter. Although the, the, that's a bit dangerous sometimes because we are sometimes over higher terrain. So we're not going to take that as a reference. Flaps 2. Speed check. Flaps 2. So I'm going to put this to select at uh, 170 until we uh, we get onto the localizer there. So cleared for the approach, and we see that 310 is on the um, final there. Yeah, flying, yeah, flying fox, but that's just the way you know different SOPs work, different airlines. So, right, so we're supposed to maintain 2270 here, that's what we have, and 180 knots. So, we are fulfilling both of these. So that's all fine. And I'm going to arm the approach mode now. So we've got autopilot 1 plus 2, cut through, do, lock, blue, light, slip, blue. Cut three door. Lock style. Yeah, MS Air. MS Air, it, it can lead to some, some uh, problems. So you have to concentrate. And you remember the, the, the thing with the um, the Emirates? The Emirates that had uh, been flying around low level, like 300, 400 feet above the ground, way out of the airport. Gear down. Aeroflot 045, surface wind 230 degrees 7, August 1, 2 meters per second, runway 24 center, clear to land, Aeroflot 045. And because we always do that, standard procedure that we always engage both autopilots for the landing. Even though we are doing just a cap 1 ILS, that's just normal procedure for us. Flaps 3. Flaps four. So to, so to recap, guys, make sure you concentrate on what you set where. So Q and H, 
and you can set Q of E here to cross check. Be aware on the height. So the chart here clearly says your height is 1648 over the ground. So make sure you configure early. It, Russian, like Moscow, um, procedures are non-standard. So be aware of that. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Low. Landing no blue. Right. Um, taxi to holding point, runway to the left, wire, front, Sierra 5, Mail 5, 4, 9. Alpha 0, 0, please take it. Alpha 0, 0, please take it. Alpha 0, 0, please take it. Alpha 0, 0, please Alpha 0, Alpha 0, Alpha Checked. Test, test, test. Airflot 1917, Airflot 1917, above. Inside. Two hundred. Minimum. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Retard. Five. Now that's how pros do it. So idle reverse as brief, you've got diesel. Wonderful. Seventy knots. Checked. So we could go to the uh, right. Hey, negative. Airflow. Oh, airflow. Center, Cleveland. Wow, look at the, the, the terminal. Like I said, I've not been to the new, new airport. Uh, Fantastic. So we're just going to vacate. Then we can decide where to taxi to. So we're right here. Good night. Black Good night, Marisa. Thank you much. And uh, Airflot 045 vacated uh, at taxiway 3. Airflot 045, uh, welcome to Moscow, Shermakiva. Uh, stand at your discretion. Spasiba, stand on discretion, uh, Airflot 045. So, wonderful. After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. Approach landing checklist complete.
Right. Just gonna watch the uh, the 747 land there. That's a good buddy landing. Uh, let's see, who is that actually? Who's landing right now? Oops. Yeah, we'll have a look at the airport in a second, Aim. Just watch the 747 land. Beautiful approach. Nice. nice, there's a touchdown now. Lovely. Incredible. Lovely landing. Nice. Yes, applause. Cool. Well done. Well, yeah, but I mean, in the end, you could always ask for the, uh, you know, the stand yourself. We're going to park on the... We're going to park on the right there. Alright, let's park here. That was fun. That was such a lot of fun having the the Russian controller there. And so actually been now for the first time ever having used QV procedures on uh, on Vatsim. Very cool indeed. Parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seatbelts. Off. Exterior lights. Off. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. So, we can uh, release the parking brake. Um, I shall have a look at our... In it. 